Hey guys, what's up? It is Cecily and it's this week in Ryan Chair News. I have a bunch of really good stories this week. So I'm glad you guys joined me. Let's get into it. A Phoenix Uber driver shared a brilliant encounter between himself and a teenage rider this past week. I saw this on Twitter and I was like, I have to share this with you guys. Uh, in less than a few minutes, he goes from asking her like for her ID, assessing the situation, and responding to like her frustration because he's not letting this girl ride. Okay, yeah, you have to be over 18 to take the Uber by yourself. You have to have an adult ride if you're not over 18. Are you serious? Yeah. Next, he does something that I would never think to do. He quickly shows her the policy like on the Uber app. She reads it and she's like in disbelief. It says right here, a rider must be at least 18 years of age to have an Uber account and request rides. And I get it, you know, um, if people have been letting you ride and never carded you, and all of a sudden this person shows you this policy, I'd be confused too. No, because that don't make sense because the Uber I just took ain't make me. Uh, I'll pull up their policy for you. The driver like is not going for it. He restates his stance. He's like, this is the Uber policy and he's out of there in like less than a few minutes. Um, so if you're ever curious about how to handle the situation, I would say this is a great way to do it. This guy's awesome. I think that you guys should be following him. I was looking through his feed and he's very active in sharing his experiences as a driver. Um, he also engages with the Reicher community on Twitter too, which I also think is a cool thing to do. Uh, but you can also watch this video in its entirety. It's like a few minutes. His Twitter link is in the description. Speaking of recording passengers, it seems that Uber may be testing an audio recording feature for drivers. Yeah, now last month we discussed the Uber safety toolkit, which was originally designed for Uber customers that felt like the need to record audio and share it with Uber during a ride. Now it seems that that record audio feature is a way for drivers to document if riders are acting inappropriately. This is very needed. Yes, it is. So fellow Uber tuber, driver Dustin shared a few videos yesterday confirming that this audio feature was at least being tested in the market that he drives in. I don't know if you saw my video I did earlier, but this is going to make it a lot harder for passengers to make those false reports to get a free ride and potentially get drivers deactivated. And I think it's interesting because I like scoured the internet to see if there was a press release or anything on this new feature for drivers, but I haven't found anything, not even official word from Uber and in-app update or anything like that. So um, I'm not sure when it will be released to all markets or if it will be. I'm very happy that, this, that Uber is addressing this for drivers. And I cannot wait to hear about the details of this particular feature and anything else. Um, their policies can be very rider centric when it comes to disputes and I feel like this feature will level the playing field. It's imperative that you use this feature every single time you take a ride. And seeing as I don't have a lot of information on it, I left a link to Dustin's channel if you wanna go check out you know, the feature and kinda of see what it looks like. Until we get more information. Thanks, Dustin. It might be cooler everywhere else in the world outside of LA, but the drivers on these coasts are heating things up over there with a bevy of lawsuits. New Jersey just recently hit Uber with a $650 million bill for unpaid un unemployment and temporary disability benefits taxes from the past four years. They've been arguing that the rideshare firm misclassified drivers and about $523 million of that is actually taxes while up to $119 million is due to the interest and penalties, guys. That's a lot to say. Uh, the commissioner said that this was an example of the administration cracking down on employee misclassification okay and in new york drivers are suing for wage theft that phrase the suit was filed in manhattan by the new york city tax workers alliance which has 22,000 paying members and about half of that total are working for ride sharing apps now these plaintiffs are seeking to represent a class of 96,000 plus Uber drivers in New York City who worked for the company between 2013 and 2017 that did not opt out of arbitration. Now the lawsuit claims that Uber deducted sales tax and black car fund surcharges from drivers during that time and they want all of their money back. All of it. Kayla Brown was driving for Lyft when the passenger pulled a knife out on her, stole her car, and then wrecked it. He got in the middle of the backseat held the knife to my throat and stated, 
um, get off the highway. She says that Lyft has been trying to charge her for that stolen vehicle ever since. It's now in police impound as evidence. But Brown says she is still being charged the rental fee of $255 by Lyft, even though the car was stolen. So last month, uh, I reported a story where a Sacramento driver was also attacked by a passenger, and later in that evening, he ended up in the hospital due to a heart attack, strokes, the man was in a coma, and his wife went to CBS News because she was frustrated because the company was still charging her for that car, and I think the car was actually uh, was entered into evidence. Or booked into evidence. So after she called CBS 13, Uber reversed the charge, which I'm sure is the same thing here with Lyft. Um, but that's really intense. Like, I'm happy that these people are able to resolve these issues, but I'm sure it's partly due to the fact that they are raising it to a local and national level. They're getting the media involved. So I just want to say if this is happening to you and you feel like you've exhausted all the efforts to stop recurrent charges, first, if you haven't done this, you definitely need to dispute the charge and let your bank know what's going on. Number two, you need to contact your local news and or record a video and share it if it's not in a rideshare community or with YouTubers like us who tell your guys' story. But if you get it out there, you, you have a better chance of actually resolving this. I would also say if your car is in police custody, you need evidence of all this stuff. As the car is being towed, you get a receipt for the tow, grab that. If it's entered into evidence, there's some sort of inventory you can get from the police. These are all things, if you do follow a dispute, that you will need to prove your side of it. You do need to, to give the bank that kind of information. If you don't give that to them, they could reverse the charges and allow these companies to continue to charge you. If you have any more questions about this, you can actually hit me up on my Facebook and I will try my best to answer your question. This week's What Would You Do is just crazy. It, it sounds like something from a film. So a woman, Lyft driver, says that she was waiting in an area and she sees a guy fall out of another Lyft vehicle. She says the guy's running, he's crying, and she's trying to figure out what's going on. The man comes over to her and says that he was robbed by a passenger in that car. And so she goes to call 911. Now she doesn't know that he actually robbed somebody in that car and then fell out or got kicked out. And so when she's calling 911, he tries to grab her, I think he actually grabs her phone and he tries to grab her purse. Now, she says he wasn't quick enough to get inside the car, which I think he was trying to. So she accelerated her car and he's hanging out the window. And she said at some, a certain point, he was able to get the purse and then run into a nearby garage. Now, lucky for her, there's some firefighters in there. They like come to her aid, grab the guy and hold him when the police arrive. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure the OGs are watching this and they're like, okay, so dot, dot, dot. Like you already know how this probably could have been prevented, but I want you to share your thoughts in the comments so folks who don't know, know what to do next time. You falling out of cars and you running and crying, I am, I am not going to help you. <laughs> not, I am not helping you. I may call the police. You know, I may not even say, I'm sorry. I just, I probably, unless he was a very innocent looking person, I still would be suspicious. Like, especially if it's on a lift. <laughs> you see a body coming out. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. I decided to do a different ending. Of course, I want you guys to subscribe so that you can see these videos every single Saturday morning. Also, subscribe to Harry's channel so that you can see all of the contributors and all of the work that we um that we bring to you but i just want to give you a sneak peek as to what i do every single week so yeah that's this is what we do we edit these videos we research this stuff we put this energy into creating engaging content for you guys and sometimes sometimes it's a little light sometimes it's like not really anything to say or not anything good to say but my uh, goal is to always have something positive and a little bit off, a little bit different, a little bit, you know, more engaging. And I think that um, while you're sitting here to get information because you uh, are a part of the industry, this is of interest to you, maybe it's entertaining to you, I still want it to be positive overall. And so I know on video after video after video, I say, hey, feel free to hit me up and to share. And few people have done it. 
a few people have, but I want to encourage you guys more to be expressive about what it is that you do like and things that you want to see. I think that we can all get very caught up in this whole like cancel anti I'm over it culture where it's like, this is horrible. And it's like, you're very good at expressing what you don't like, but how about like expressing what you do like? And there's a lot of great things about our community and what we're able to do in doing these jobs that makes life a little bit easier. So if everybody else is gonna be on some like anti, don't like this, don't like that. Why do I always do that, I always do that. Anyway, I'm not gonna be that person for you. I'm not, I'm simply not. That's what it's gonna be. Well, anyway, at any rate, I want you guys to make tons of money this weekend. I want you to be safe and I want you to have a lot of fun doing whatever it is that you want to do this weekend. Have a good one. Bye. I got to edit now.